Brothers and sisters, towards the last part of my speech, I would like to raise a short concern of mine and a reminder for all of us. As you know that 14 August is approaching, and it's known as Independence Day for the Republic, Islamic Republic of Pakistan. Brothers, freedom is a thing which is very important to one's life. Alhamdulillah, we were born in such an atmosphere that we were free to practice our religion, we were free to do whatever we want to do. But if you want to know the real importance of freedom, if you want to know the real you know, wisdom behind freedom, why people yearn for freedom, cry for freedom, then I would say that we should look at the current situation of Palestine, of Kashmir, of Syria, and Afghanistan, all those countries which have been occupied by either Western forces or by Western thoughts and they are fighting day and night for freedom and freedom for what? Freedom to practice their religion and freedom to pray five times a day. If you look at Palestine, people, you know, are scared they don't go to mosque. You never know when they're going to kidnap you. You never know when they're going to bomb the mosque. Similarly, likewise in Syria, we see sir, these situations arising. And when we look at Kashmir, we see rape, torture, brutality, oppression by the Indian army. And people cannot practice their Islam freely. So brothers, keeping those things in mind, consider yourself very, very, very lucky that Alhamdulillah we are born in such an atmosphere. And in such a country where you can practice Islam freely, where you can do whatever you want to do. And the government and the army is fully supportive of you. And we should never forget the sacrifice which were made by the people of Pakistan for us to have this freedom in which we are living in today. So brothers and sisters, please remember those brothers and sisters who have been oppressed by various armies and countries of the world. That may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them freedom very soon. And never forget those people who gave their lives for us to be free today. Jazakumullah khair.